Hello everybody. Today we're going to draw a trigger fish. Step one is we're going to do two diagonal lines. That's going to be the mouth of the fish. Trigger fish are some of the most beautiful tropical fish that you might find in the ocean. That curves up. Curves over and down. That's the top line of the body of the fish. What I love about swimming in the ocean is you just never know what you're gonna see. Next step, it goes down. There's a tiny little diagonal line and it curves up. Some people think that you have to go scuba diving in order to see beautiful sea life, but actually, you can use a snorkel, or if you like me, you, all you have to use is uh, goggles. It goes down. I guess some people don't mind opening their eyes in the water, but the salt water kind of stinks my eyes, so I like to wear goggles. Next step, we're going to do the top fin. It goes up, and it goes down. And it goes up, diagonal, and it goes down. A few years ago, our pier got damaged during one of the hurricanes, and it was closed for a period of time until they fixed it. And boy, I sure did love swimming around those pilings of the pier during that time, because that's where most of the tropical fish like to congregate. Here's the bottom fin, it goes down and down. You can still swim around the pier, but you have to go early before the fishermen get there because you don't want to end up on the hook of their line as they're fishing. In other words, you don't want them to catch you. Okay, it goes down and out. There are other tropical fish out in the ocean. They're not all around the pilings. I'm going to do the eye of the fish, which is a circle, and the dot. It's important though when you swim in the ocean, uh, leave your silver and gold jewelry home because they reflect sunlight. And we go up, 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 up. And if by chance you did run into a shark, you don't want them to mistake you for a fish. And if you are wearing reflective jewelry, they might think you're a fish because the sunlight reflects off of the, the scales of a fish. So you don't want to have any uh, sunlight uh, reflecting off of your gold and silver jewelry. Just, these are just a series of parallel curved lines. But what a lot of people don't realize is sharks don't really want to eat people because they don't think that we taste as good as fish. So I have seen a shark or two in my travels in the ocean, but none of them ever bothered me. It's important too, if you do run across one, just try to be still and that way they can get a good look at you and see, oh, you're just a person. They're not interested in eating you. Okay, it curves up and it curves down. There are four kinds of sharks though that will on occasion take a bite out of people. I think bull shark is one of them, tiger shark, maybe great white. I can't remember. There's four different species. Vertical. So if I run into one of those, I try to get out of their way. It curves up and it curves down. Vertical, curves down, lots of parallel curved lines. Horizontal, diagonal, 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 diagonal. It goes up and up. Down, down, down. It goes down, diagonal. Diagonal, and it goes down. Horizontal, diagonal, 
diagonal, diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Another interesting animal that you might run across in, in South Florida is a manatee. And um, they're, you have to Google manatee. I don't know how to describe that animal, but sometimes they'll swim with people. We used to see them in the canals and uh, of our neighborhood where I used to live. And they like fresh water and they like to eat lettuce. So if I ever see one, I throw the hose in the water and throw in some lettuce. They really like that. It curves down, 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 and down, down, down. We should draw a manatee together sometime. I have gone swimming where dolphins were one time too, and that was really fun. It goes up, down, up, down. In Florida, you do sometimes see dolphin on the menu, but that is not flipper. That is a fish called Mai Mai. It's also sometimes referred to as dolphin, but we do not eat porpoises in Florida. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. These um, markings on the triggerfish look kind of like a mask. And that is, I think, what the purpose of them is, is to... Uh, disguise the eye of the fish from its predators. It curves down and down. Oops, I forgot a little piece here. Diagonal and then it goes down. If you do a series of two diagonal lines and these lines kind of cross each other, it's gonna create a shape kind of like a diamond. It's gonna approximate or appear like the scales of a fish. So let me get started. I'm just gonna draw them freehand, but feel free to use a ruler if you prefer to. These lines are gonna be parallel. I hope you are using a pencil when you're drawing today. I'm only using a Sharpie just so you can see it better. But obviously with a pencil, you're gonna be able to erase anything you wanna fix. Now I drew this initially with a pencil. That way I can fix any mistakes along the way. But those pencil lines for me are just my guide to showing you how to draw it with the Sharpie. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to crisscross these lines with diagonal lines from a different direction. So let's see. So here again, I'm gonna to try to do parallel lines. And you see how it makes kind of a diamond shape when you put the two lines together? And voila, there's our triggerfish. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.